Well, hey guys, welcome back. Now, in the last video, I took you through how to pair a Cardo Pack Talk Bold to a non Cardo unit. So, in this example, we used the Senna 30K. So, in this video, we're going to be connecting up two Cardo Pack Talk Bolds and creating a mesh or DMC group within these two. It's very quick and simple to do. There's no prior pairing of the units whatsoever in this mesh technology. So it's the click of a couple of buttons, they join together and they will automatically connect to each other. And it's just a, a one-time setup. Every time you turn the units back on, they will automatically connect to each other because they've been put into this DMC group. So first part of the video is to connect these two together via the mesh group. And the second part is because a lot of you have still asked about it, can I still add the non-cardo units into the group? Well, yes, you can. There is still a way of doing it. So if you're interested, stay tuned. I'll see you straight after this. Hello, Pack Talk Bold, Bluetooth, Intercom, Bold. Now, straight off the bat, when we turn the units on, they are in Bluetooth intercom mode currently. You'll get an audible command to tell you're in Bluetooth intercom mode, and you'll get a, f a visual indicator, a flashing blue light. Now, we want to be in DMC mode or mesh intercom, so we have to change the units into the DMC mode. So all we do is press the uh, top and bottom buttons together. DMC intercom mode. We'll get another audible command that we have now changed to DMC mode and we now get a flashing green light. DMC intercom mode. So now we're both in DMC mode. All we have to do now is set these two up into a group. Now this is a one-time operation. You only have to do it once. After that, you just have to tune your units on into DMC mode and they will connect automatically. But we have to set up a group first. So basically all we do is press and hold the top button for five seconds. Grouping. I initiate the call from um, the command unit or the, the master unit or control unit, whatever you want to call it. And we do the same on each individual person that wants to join the group. Start grouping. All that I do then from there as the controlling um, unit, only I have to do this, is press this top button again once. Grouping success. Grouping success. Now for this DMC group to work, as I said before, you just have to turn the units on and it automatically goes live and these two are connected together. Now this is all well and good if you're all using the same Cardo Pack Talk Bold and you've set up your mesh or DMC intercom. But what happens if Rodney rocks up here rolling the Senna 30K? Now gone are the days where you could tell this guy here that he can't be added into our cool intercom system because he's not rocking the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. So as shown in my previous video, I connected this um, Cardo Pack Talk Bold to the Senna 30K using the Cardo Gateway, basically pairing via Bluetooth a Cardo to a Senna 30K unit for Bluetooth intercom but he can still be added into our mesh um, intercom system here. These two are continuously live, so these are on. So basically all I have to do, although these two are in DMC mode, I just make the call once to the Senna 30K via the Bluetooth intercom, and he will be added into our mesh intercom. Phone connected. So all I've done, although these two are in a live mesh intercom, I've made a Bluetooth call to the Senna 30K and brought that into the mesh intercom from the Cardo Pat Talk Bolds. Now this is all in and working and it's all working fine, but you may lose some slight functionality and there, may, there are some slight disadvantages into adding a Bluetooth unit into the mesh system. Now there are benefits um, to using mesh, you get a bit more battery life, the sound quality is um, slightly better, but because we're adding a Bluetooth unit into the mesh, we're sort of having to downgrade these two to the Senna 30K, the slightly inferior unit in this example. So you may find that battery life is slightly reduced. The sound quality might not be as good because it's having to compensate for a sort of a lower spec unit. You won't get the added benefits of using these two mesh um, units or the technology behind it. Um, because it's having to compensate for the Senna 30K. So you three are happily on your way on your ride. It's all working tickety-boo. Everybody's having a barrel of laughs. You stop off for lunch and meet up with Trigger. Now Trigger's um, sort of a bit behind the times and he's still rocking the dinosaur, the Senna 20S. 
Now you may be asking, can we add him into our mesh intercom? Well, yes, you can. But because the Cardo gateway only allows you to um, pair with one non-Cardo unit, so we've paired this helmet here to the Senna 30K, so that is our channel used up. So what we need to do in this, in this case is pair our second um, Cardo pack torque mold to the Senna 20S or, or anyone that's in this mesh group, if there's even 10 of you, somebody else other than this helmet has to now bring trigger in on the game. So I've done that off camera already. I've paired this unit using the Cardo gateway to the mobile phone um, channel on the 20S. Again, if you wanna know how to do that, then check out the video that I've done previously and that explains exactly how to do it. So the two helmets over the DMC mesh, they remain live the entire time. So these two are connected. So all we have to do now, this helmet here is paired with the Senna 30K and this helmet here is paired with the Senna 20S. Again, all via the Cardo gateway and via the mobile phone pairing intercom. So all I need to do now is drag the Senna 20S into the mesh intercom via this helmet and drag the Senna 30K into the mesh from this helmet. So DMC is still live and we've now added the Senna 20S. So all the last thing we need to do now is add the 30K. Phone connected. So that is now all headsets connected into one mesh or DMC group. So it still can be done. However, I would advise you to be all be using the same unit if you're gonna be sort of getting into it more and a lot of you um, ride together in the same group. I would advise that you all run the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. And as I said, it's just a click of a couple of buttons and everything is connected automatically. There's still an element of faff in there trying to get the two non-cardo units into the mesh but as you've seen it is actually possible so in this video we've looked into how to create a dmc mesh intercom group using two cardo pack talk bolts as i said before the procedure doesn't change one bit if there's two of you three of you ten of you you do exactly the same thing as i've shown you in this video to set up the dmc uh, dmc mesh intercom and as i said it is a one-time thing we've also covered how to add non-cardo units into our DMC mesh intercom. Again, it does add that faffery into the intercom because you have to then go back to pairing the units um, with one of your Cardo headsets before you can bring them into the mesh intercom. But as you've seen in the video, it can be done. So gone are the days where say six of you are out riding with the Cardo pack talk board and you meet up with a friend who's using a non-Cardo unit, you are now aware that he can then be added into your mesh intercom and he sort of not left out of the joys and jollies and laughs that you're gonna be having out on the road. So hopefully that has been of interest to you. Hopefully you've taken something away from the video. If you do have any other questions or you want me to make any other content, um, sort of connectivity content with the Cardo Pack Talk Balls, then leave me your ideas, comments, questions and queries down in the comment section below. But other than that, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've taken some away from it and I will see you in the next one. See you out there. Goodbye.